Hey guys, what's up? Today is really exciting uh, because today is the first snow we've gotten where I live. No, I'm just kidding. It's actually because I got a new sub for my car. So you guys don't know it, but I do have this Machete Fight 12R in the back of my car that's been pushing my base for a while. Now I'm switching to a Scar VXF 12 dual 2 ohm. So this guy is a dual 4 ohm. It sounds really good, but I'm, I'm looking for a little bit more. So that's why we're moving to the Scar. All right guys, we got the uh, car backed into the garage. We're gonna get the sub up on the bench, take it out of its box and take a closer look at it. We got the uh, sub up on the bench. It's looking real good. Three inch voice coil. Look at them tinsel leads. Holy cow, big old dust cap. This is a, uh, this is a pretty impressive unit. We're gonna, we're gonna pull the box out of the car. We're gonna get that up on the bench too. And then we're going to take my old sub, the Machete Fight 12R. We're gonna take that out and we're actually gonna compare them side by side because I think the difference is gonna be substantial. Holy crap. I forget how big I mean, look at the difference. That's, I mean, even the high roll surround, you can see that's coming up to almost my first knuckle. This one, not even. It's crazy. Oh my gosh. You should put it in. <laughs> that coil is massive. It's just, it's intense. Wow. Wow. We saw the comparison, so we do have the uh, the old sub out. You can see, really, I mean, just the, the sheer difference. It's substantial. So before any of you ask, this box was actually designed for that sub, but we, uh, we put that sub in because that's what we had budget for at the time, but now she's getting what she's really meant for, so we're gonna toss this guy in. got the new sub mounted up in the box, wired in parallel like you do. We're actually gonna be running it at one ohm, old sub out. If any of you wanna buy that, she's up for sale now. And just look at the difference in the size of the magnet. This is the foam where the magnet sat in the box. And I got the old sub placed in there. And uh, yeah, it's a substantial size difference. As you can see, we got the sub in the box and the box in the car. She's not bolted down yet because we still got a See where the seats are sitting in order to screw it down, so that way when it when it hits full excursion, it doesn't ever uh, doesn't ever touch that seat. But for right now, we're gonna take her out to a parking lot and do some tests with the oscilloscope, so we know how high we can really turn it up. But uh, so far, so good. <laughs>
All right, well, I know the microphone that picked up the audio and the speakers are probably listening to it on don't really do the sub justice, but just the fact that my uh, sub was clipping the mic. The sub sounds phenomenal. I mean, it's, a, it's the perfect mix of sound quality and SPL. I mean, it sounds fantastic. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.